Okay, welcome to another Star Wars Power of the Force 2 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure review. Uh, these were released uh, going on 30 years ago. Uh, this would have been probably 1998, perhaps 1999. Uh, and we can sort of de deduce that uh, based off of the, what, we, what we'll see here in just a few moments, a, a picture from Episode 1. So this is Princess Leia, uh, Yavin ceremonial uh, attire. And if you've been following my review series, we've already uh, reviewed a figure similar to this, but uh, it's not the same figure, and I, we'll, we'll look at them side by side here in a few moments. Now, uh, this came in a lot with everything you see on the table, plus an Emperor's Royal Guard, which I already have one, but uh, having two is good. Uh, so you can uh, put one on each side of the Emperor on display. So that, that, that that's why I was like, yep, I'll have this lot. It's, a bunch of figures I don't have, and then one that I could use another one. Uh, this is probably the most disappointing of the figures in this lot. I don't think it's the seller's fault. I blame most of this on Hasbro's uh, packaging department. However, there's some, there's some there's some issues here. Uh, now we call them flashback uh, figures because they came with this little gimmick. Now the year is either late 1998 or early 1999. Episode one has not come out yet. Uh, for some reason. Uh, they decided to spoil the whole damn film. The big surprise payoff in episode one is spoiled when we pull this tab. There's Princess Leia from episode four, and there's Queen Amidala from episode one. We weren't supposed to know this until the end of the movie, that she was actually the queen, and they spoiled it. And, uh, oh well, I mean, a little too late to complain about that now, but there you go. Okay, so, uh, this is, uh, again, we've seen this same figure, just a completely different sculpt with much, much better uh, paint applications. And I'll show it to you in a moment. But uh, it does come with the uh, Medallion Rebel uh, uh, Award accessory that, you know, she put one of these on Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, but not Chewbacca, uh, which I think was rectified in one of the shitty Disney films. But uh, here she is, and on the surface, it's not bad. It's just, it's it's so crappy compared to the uh, other version of this figure that was made. Now, when I took this out of the packaging, my first thought was, uh-oh, this has been sun damaged because of the co discolor, what I thought was discoloration here of her little cape here. However, no, I believe that's how it's supposed to be. It's actually a backpack, by the way. It pegs into a hole in her back. Uh, but um, I think it's supposed to simulate that sort of transparent, what's the word, chiffon uh, that she's wearing. We'll see it on the other figure. So I don't think that's a discoloration. I just think that they made it th this way to, to look a little different than the dress she's wearing. You will notice that the top of the dress is a little more yellow than the uh, rubbery plastic uh, on the bottom. Now, the paint applications, for the most part, they're fine, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can see it really badly now. There's a, a sculpting issue with this figure. They left some excess flash on this figure above her ear. And it, yeah, that's actually pretty egregious. Quality control, typical Hasbro quality control. You might also notice a little yellowing right here and a little yellowing around her wrist. Oh, that's, uh, that's eroded, disintegrated rubber band that was holding the um, medallion in her hands for nearly 30 years while it was in the package. And it just crumbled to... Just this crappy residue as soon as I removed it uh, from the package. Now, it's not a game breaker. Uh, I can eventually get this off. I just need to be very careful. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's just... I don't know why they chose such a cheap rubber for that. I don't know why they thought that would be a good idea. Uh, but it's a... Look at there in her hands there. It's, it's all over my fingers, too. It's just a hot mess. And... Uh, but the articulation is on point. She does have legs under there, and before you ask, yes, she is. And uh, she swivels quite well at the waist, maybe a little too, and also quite well at the head, maybe a little too good. Still getting all these little flecks of rubber band off her. Uh, but it's a six points of articulation. That's really bothering me, that flash there on the side. Now, does that look like Princess Leia? Not really, but none of them really look like Princess Leia. Uh, only some of the re more recent Black Series figures even come close to actually looking like Carrie Fisher. But um, uh, do not pay more than $5 for this figure, Chappies. Uh, that, it, it would be a criminal act to sell this for more than $5, in my opinion. Because it's, 
let's just go ahead and compare it to the Princess Leia that came in the two pack with uh, the uh, ceremonial Yavin 4 Luke Skywalker. Uh, this was the Princess Leia collection, and, and you'll see why immediately. The disparity in quality, it almost looks like the same face, but it's not. The bun's much larger on this one. We got re well, we've got synthetic strands of hair rather than uh, the um, much shorter flexible plastic. Uh, the sculpting, I think, is better. Of course, the the the, cl the soft goods are, are far superior to this plastic uh, stuff she's wearing. Uh, if you're a completionist, of course, you'd want to pick this up. But if you've got this one, you have no great need for this one. And especially if it has this defect like mine. that I, I'm certain if I clip that off with nail clippers or something, it's going to be flesh-colored underneath. So I'll probably just leave it as is. Uh, they'll probably go on display beside each other. And, well, you just have to make the call. Now, con in a contemporary uh, uh, standpoint... This was at a, sold at a lower price point than this figure that came with the uh, Luke Skywalker 2-pack, which was probably a store exclusive. I don't know. I have any details on that. But uh, you can see this one is the far superior figure. But if you can get a better specimen than I have, uh, you could do worse. But you're going to be contending with this crappy rubber band residue all over her hands and the medallion she comes with. Okay? So there you go. That's the flashback spoiler Princess Leia from probably... Uh, 99, possibly late 98, uh, but these exist in the millions. You don't have to pay a lot of money for these, okay? Thanks for watching, chappies. May the Force be with you, and I'll talk to you again soon.